Today, we're at a business that manufactures two very specialized pieces of machinery, invented right here in New England and sold all over the world. Let's discover the P. Ronsi Machine Company. We're here with Phil, owner of the P. Ronsi Company. Phil, how did you get started? I was teaching school, not making a lot of money. My grandfather retired from the family business and we began a company making a machine that he invented in 1937. Might that be the Ronsi Industrial Coating Machine? Exactly. What does it do? This machine applies liquid coatings to small metal parts. Originally, uh, its use was here in Rhode Island in the jewelry industry, and nowadays it's used all over the world, but primarily in the Midwest, where they apply coatings to a lot of industrial parts. Even automotive? Even automotive. You also manufacture an entirely different piece of equipment. Is it construction related? It is. Did family invent that too? No, actually, a good friend of mine knew of this piece of machinery that a fellow was uh, building in his garage up in New Hampshire. And uh, he thought it was something that would sell and something that we could make here at uh, P. Ronsi Machine Company. When I knew what it, uh, learned what it did, I fell in love with it. And now we manufacture the laser grader. I hear laser grader, what does it do? It's a compact motor grader that a driver will operate, but the height of the grading blade is controlled by lasers, and it holds the tolerance to within an eighth of an inch, a thousand feet away from the transmitting source. Wow, that's close. That's close. Two interesting pieces of machinery. Let's go see how they're made. We're here on the shop floor. Chuck, I know you make new machines, but what else do you do? Well, we make brand new machines and we also rebuild old machines. They uh, last a long time, I take it? They last a very long time. We have machines 50 years old that we rebuild. So what's the difference between an old machine and a new one? An old machine was strictly run by hand. It was all manual. A new machine is all automatic, runs with a computer. It runs an automatic cycle all by itself. Now that's the coding machine? That's the coding machine. So when you update them, you fully automate them so people like even myself could use it? You could use it. Let's talk about the manufacturing process, specifically the laser grader. How does all this happen? Well, we start with the raw material. It comes in the door. It all gets machined. After it's machined, it goes to welding. All the pieces get welded together. After the welding is done, it goes to paint. They paint everything. When everything is painted, it comes out here on the floor and it gets assembled. And you assemble it right here? And we assemble everything. And here. what about the wiring, the laser? We, we do all the wiring. The laser system comes in in pieces and we assemble it onto the grader. I would assume that takes some very careful calibration. It has to be calibrated completely from one end to the other so that the customer can get a job done right. Now that we've seen how these machines are made, let's find out where they go. Greg, where do they go? Well, we sell throughout the United States, but about 85% of the machines are exported. Um, you can see here they're in the European market, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Russia, Japan, and as far away as Australia. Australia is far away. It's only that far on the map. That's right, Al. So, Greg, overseas, what do they use the machines for? Well, a lot of the machines are used in the sports construction industry, tennis courts, equestrian arenas, uh, football stadiums, and a lot of them are also used in site development. Greg, this is such a unique product. How do you gain exposure to the companies that need to buy it? Well, in the United States, we participate in a lot of the larger construction-based trade shows. Um, in the European market, Japan and Australia, we have a dealer network set up and they do a lot of the selling for us. They also participate in those same trade shows. That's the laser grader. Does a little bit more than backyard work made right here in Rhode Island and shipped all over the world. Well, two very interesting pieces of machinery made right here in Smithfield, Rhode Island by this man, Phil Cerrone. You know, I thought I recognized you. 